So I have seen like a lot of people talk about how they don't prefer women who show like or don't wear like hijabs or just okay. show themselves. I have seen like a lot of people like shun those women okay. as well. And I just want to know like where and like what you guys preach is that okay or like where you, you're saying you safe? see a lot of people that prefer hijab or, uh, no, or just, don't like just like sh like quite literally like shun women and like discriminate towards them because that don't wear yeah they don't wear them or just feel like I, if you yeah what I'm saying. so in Islam. Islamic rules only apply to Muslims. So if I see a non-Muslim woman and she's not dressed in a hijab, I can't say, why aren't you wearing it? Because she doesn't believe in the religion in the first place. Right. So people that do that, they're wrong. You understand? On the other hand, a Muslim woman that doesn't wear a hijab, it's between her and God and she's sinful for that because it's a command from God to cover up. Are you Christian? Um, no. What are you? Uh, kind of in the ifs. Yeah, really even, are, 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 do, do you believe in a faith? Catholic. Christian, Catholic. Even in the Catholic faith, you see uh, Mother Mary, she's dressed modestly. Uh -huh. The past women of the past, they would dress modestly. This is just a general command of modesty for the woman uh, from God uh, to help society in general. It's not only for the woman. It's for society in general. It preserves families. It preserves a uh, woman's dignity. Because when, when, even when the studies now, they, they, they put, uh, for example, a a naked woman in front of a man and a, and a woman dressed modestly in front of the man and then when they see the firings in the brain when the man sees the woman naked his uh, some of the firings in his brain go to the the same thing when he sees a tool like when he sees a hammer he sees it as a tool and these things fire when he sees the woman naked he sees her as a tool so her whole personality is gone from his brain you see so that's a general command to help preserve the woman and society so and on top of that Saying bad things or shunning women for not doing something that's commanded by God is wrong because God commands us to tell and advise in a, in a beautiful way. Because if you say, Why aren't you doing that? You're wrong. You're going to hell. No one will listen to you. Right. You know? So God says to advise and remind in a beautiful way. So that's our belief. And, and, and the hijab, sister, is to preserve the woman because even in America, one of the leading places in the world for sexual assault on a woman. I think something crazy like one in every eight minutes or something like that, a woman is actually raped in, in the US or around the world. So it's to preserve herself, her safety. Another thing is to preserve her identity. So when, so when someone comes up or she goes up to a person, they see her, they speak to her. They don't see her as an object. See? And it doesn't make, it doesn't objectify women the way women in the West are objectified. You see what I mean? Yeah. And on top of that, it preserves society. Why? Because people, uh, the, when the women are safe and they, when the women are more dignified, they have better families and therefore the children are raised in a better way. Right. Those are some wisdoms. But the, ulti the ultimate reason why women are dressed like this is because it's a command from God Almighty. And if you believe in a God, that a creator that is uh, more wise, more intelligent, more strong than us, it would only befit us to listen to that creator. You see what I mean? Yeah. And so you said you don't really know what you believe. Do you believe, you believe there's a God. I believe there's something, I just don't know what. So do you believe something created everything? Okay, um, so you just, I don't know how to say it. You don't believe in a creator, you believe that there's something. What do you mean by something? Like, I know there's just something or someone out there that did something to help. Yeah. You know, but I just don't know what there is. I mean, I'd hope there's something. Yeah. You know? Like, for example, can something create, can nothing create something? Can something come from nothingness? Like in math, zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. Can I ever give you something quantifiable? Not really. Nothing, right? Yeah. It'll all be. It'll always be zero. Even logically, when you see the world, even scientists today, they believe that the universe had a start. They call it the Big Bang. That was the start of the universe. Uh -huh. The universe started. It's, it's not something eternal that's always been here. Yeah. So if it started, the question is, how did it start? You know what I mean? So if I were to, for example, would you guys agree that the universe is beautiful and perfect in a way that is like unimaginable? It's better than any painting you've seen in your life. Well, I mean, uh, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Imagine if you walked into a room and you saw, for example, on the wall written in art, uh, I love you. Would you say that, oh, that's weird, that was just there? Or would you naturally think that, oh, someone wrote that? Someone designed that? You see what I mean? Like, yeah, 
if you walked into a room, right, there's no one there, and you see on the wall written in paint, I love you, you would naturally think that, what? Someone came and painted that on the wall. You wouldn't think that that just naturally came about or it wrote itself, right? right. Because it doesn't, your, nat your natural senses think that, okay, there's a designer. Similarly, when you see the world, when you see the trees, when you see the human beings, when you see all the beauty in the world, you think, man, this is all designed. This can't, this can't just have came like out of like randomness. You know what I mean? Imagine if I told you, oh, that I love you was random. Would you believe me? Not necessarily, no. You would be like, this is impossible. How, yeah. how can that ever be random? You know what I mean? Uh, the same thing would be with this world. How can this be, all be random if that little painting is random? Is it random? It's not random, it has a purpose, but... Huh? It's not random, it has a purpose. Exactly. But it's so the same, thing, the same thing would be for this world. It was created, therefore, there's a creator. You see? But which one do you think that is real? The thing is, if there was a creator, it would only logically be one creator. Why? Why? If there were more than one all knowledgeable, it wouldn't work out because there, there would be two. You see what I mean? For example, if there was one, if there were two gods, right? And they were both all powerful. Or they were both, for example, all knowledgeable. Or they were both, for example, how do I explain this? If there's, I'm all powerful, he's all powerful, there isn't all one all, all powerful. Uh, it's divided. You see what I mean? Yeah. And another thing, if, 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 if one God had a will and the other God had a will, whose will would, would, would prevail? Uh, you see what I mean? If one wants to choose red, one wants to choose blue, who would, who's, whose will would, would win over that? Why not half? Why not half? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, when you think of an all knowledgeable or all powerful, yeah, you wouldn't naturally think of two or three or four. You see what I mean? Because all powerful would derive itself to one entity. You know what I mean? Even in the Quran, there's an argument that God says, if there were more than one God, they would have conflicted with one another. You see? And, and that's the reason why we, we say that, that there's one creator, one all knowledgeable, one all powerful that created this whole universe. So do you believe Jesus is God? Let me just ask you a quick question. Uh, not God, but the Son. Do you believe in the Trinity? Um, yeah. Yeah. So the Trinity says that there is a God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, co-equal, co-eternal, right? So that would mean that the Son knows what the Father knows and the Spirit knows what the Father knows, right? Yeah. So the Father knows everything. God knows everything, right? Would you agree with that? Yeah. Does Jesus know everything? Not everything. So are they equal? Well, they're not equal, but... No, but that's yeah, what the Trinity us. says. The Trinity says they're co-equal. You see? Uh, well, they can be. They can be. They can. So if God the Father knows everything, that means God the Son would know everything. Uh -huh. You see what I mean? Because it, necess it necess necessarily means that. But the, 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 there's a problem there. Why? Because Jesus was a man. Jesus was limited. Jesus, did Jesus know the hour? Jesus died. Jesus died, but did, did Jesus know the hour in the Bible? The man comes to Jesus, he says, when is the hour? Jesus says, not, uh, no one knows the hour, not the son, nor the angels, only the father. You see? Yeah. So if Jesus didn't know the hour and the father knew the hour, there's, there's, uh, they're not equal in that sense, in knowledge. You see what I mean? Yeah, could say, yeah. Yeah. So that would disqualify Jesus of being God, right? Yeah. That's what we believe as Muslims. We say that there's one creator that created everything and he sent prophets and messengers and Jesus was one of those mighty messengers that God sent. You don't think they had uh, helpers, angels? No, we believe there's angels, we do. That yeah. God uses angels to facilitate uh, things in the world. We do believe that. So you don't think there's just only one, one God, there's angels correctly? No, no, angels are not God. Yeah, they're not, but they're yeah. helpers. Angels are, you could say, helpers of God. They, they do God's will. Yeah, we believe that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But there's one creator. There's not more than one creator. There's you see? One spirit. Yeah. One, one designer, one creator, entity. one entity. You know? And this entity sent prophets and messengers. Wait, huh? Saints, angels, helpers. Yeah, he has, he has angels. He, they're a creation of God. God. God created angels. God created humans. God created these spirits that we don't see. 
Right. We believe that, yes. Right. So you, you, you believe in one God? You believe in one God? You, do you understand the concept of one God now? Yeah. And one they creator? Like that because they have angels, helpers. What is it? Because it's, it's more than just one. No, but the thing is we say that there's one God, one creator, one entity. And of the creator's creation, there are angels. Yeah. And there are angels that do God's will. For example, one angel, there's an angel of death, for example. Uh, the angel takes a soul. There's an angel that, for example, does different things. You know, you know what I mean? Do you, do you agree with yeah. that? Okay. That's the, yeah. yeah. Well, they, I, but uh, the one is very strong, saying just one. Why not? There is, but he has helpers and other people that... Yeah, we agree. So you believe in one creator, one entity, right? Yeah. And you believe that this creator created angels. Angels are creation of God. Right? Yeah. Because the angel is not God himself. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, and this God sent messengers to people. So the, he, the, the messenger can give the message of God to the people. And yeah. tell the people, don't worship trees, don't worship stone, don't kill, don't steal. Right? Do you yeah. believe that? Yeah. Well, that's what we believe as Muslims. Yeah. Yeah. We, we don't believe Jesus was God. We believe he's a prophet of God. You believe that? Yeah. 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 You have the Muslim belief, brother. Uh, all right. You have the Muslim belief. Did you know that? I didn't know. Well, it was nice. Yeah. But listen, when you become a Muslim, and you, when you become a Muslim, you, you just become, become a submitter. A Muslim means a submitter. See what I mean? Not a full... Oh, now what? Just uh, giving the faith. A Muslim means a submitter. You, what do you submit to? You submit to the one true creator. You see what I mean? We say that when you become a Muslim, you go back to the, the natural... Um, way God created you. You understand? You don't worship other people. You don't worship the, the money. You don't just go around worshiping money. All you do, you lie, you cheat, you, you cheat, you steal for money. You end up worshiping money, you feel me? You don't worship uh, like beauty standards, for example. You don't follow the trends. You, because you end up being a follower. You end up worshiping that thing. Right. We say be free of all these things. Worship the one true creator. And, and in doing so, you become a Muslim. You become a submitter, just like how Jesus he submitted to Father, to the Father, which is God. Just how Moses submitted to the Father, uh, God, and just how the Prophet Muhammad submitted to God, and that's and that's a Muslim. Oh, right. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to ask? No, that was no, that, that was, was it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank and you. this is free Quran for you guys. You like. so much. Would you like one, brother? Yeah. Okay, or you can we'll, share. We'll share. Thank you guys Thank so much. You, so much. you have a good day.